Hello ladies and gentlemen, well welcome back to another video. It has been uh, quite a while since I posted a video and that's mainly the reason because all me and Brayden have been doing is hunting. We have been taking it very, very seriously, more than I've ever taken hunting in my entire life. So that's the reason I've not been posting a video. But today, today is Thursday. So the day that y'all are watching this is the day that I'm filming this and uploading it because right after I get done filming this, editing it and uploading it, I'm gonna run down to the deer club to help get the deer club right for this coming season because we gotta do the skinning shed and a little bit work around the house and stuff like that but for today's video everybody say hey to peter hi guys hey peter but for today's video i bought something when i was in illinois i've had one one time but i've uh i've never actually gotten into it so i went ahead and bought one and now i'm gonna start getting into it and i can tell you what from the little bit that i've had it since i've been back from illinois i think it's been maybe two weeks now it's incredible i'm already falling in love with it i love it it's so much fun to do you have to be very accurate when you're doing it and it is just an extreme blast to do it with your friends so that's what today's video is going to be about i'm going to go back in the backyard get everything set up and then i'll give you all a more detailed detailed explanation of what we're doing today. Alrighty, all right, so we made it to the backyard. Obviously, this is not my backyard. This is Braden's backyard because this is where we come out here and shoot. Now you may be asking, well, what are we shooting? Well, this is what we are shooting. Yeah, she's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit. Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket. I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress. I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it. So this is the bear legit now obviously it's not a matthews phase four that just came out yada 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 that's because i got something very cheap i got something very simple i got something very easy to use it's pull the string back let it go it doesn't get much much simpler than that but since this is my first legit bow i've had one way back when i was younger probably 10 or 12 somewhere around there but got into it got out of it immediately because i didn't like it but now that i'm old enough i can pull it back yada 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 this is it so bear legit i'm running uh 46 pounds as of right now i'm gonna bump that up i just got to get used to the bow get everything situated figure out where my landings are stuff like that and then i'm eventually going to step it up i am eventually going to go ahead and get me a different stabilizer because right now this doesn't it stabilizes but it's also more of a dampener and then i'm eventually going to get rid of this plastic sight that i have right here because it's not that good i'm going to change it out eventually but for the arrows that we're running we are running gold tip 400 grain hunter editions and i've actually already got three lighted knocks back here i've got two actually i have a total of six arrows but three of them are for hunting as you can tell there's already blood on one of them that is from that is actually from the shot that i did on the hog a couple days ago but uh we won't talk about that but it's she's down for the count but anyways I have two more arrows with light and knocks on them that I'll be using this year to shoot my first doe with a bow. So that should be good. And I've also got two practice arrows. I don't know. I don't know where the third one is. I think it's probably in Braden's house somewhere, which is probably exactly where it's at. And I also have a little old release. I don't know what kind it is. Like I said, I'm not very big into archery right now, but I'm slowly getting into it. I want to get me a different rest, different stabilizer, uh, different sight, yada, yada, yada. I already have a, a lip, a cheek, uh, something like that. That's what they call this, but I don't really know what they call that. So that's there. I got my eyepiece. Like I said, I don't know a lot about this bow stuff. I'm just now getting into it. I'm already enjoying it. So I already had it sighted in for 20, 30, and 40 yards. Me and Braden did that a couple weeks ago. So right here, we have our 20 yard mark. As you can see, I'm going to be shooting at the box instead of the deer because uh, somebody decided to tear up the deer. So that's what we're starting at. We're going to be starting at the 20. I'm going to probably shoot two arrows, see how good the grouping is, move it back to 30, and then move it back to 40, and we will uh, wrap up today's video. It's going to be very short because as soon as I get done with this, I got to go home, edit this video, get it uploaded. Then I have to go down to the hunting land where Peter and Braden are already going to be to set everything up for the skin shed and yada, yada, yada. So enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into today's action because I am super excited to show this bow off to y'all, and I can only imagine how good I'm going to be when I just keep doing it and getting better and better and better. So y'all guys stay tuned and enjoy today's video. So before I actually get started, I bought this bow when I was in Illinois. They had the complete kit with the quiver and the bow, no accessories, or anything like that, for like $416. Some bow archery place in Illinois that we went to. For a setup like this, you get the bow, you get the quiver, it's 400 bucks out the door. I went ahead and got the arrows, broadheads, release, light and knocks, 
and uh, that was about it. They set everything up for me, got my draw length, and uh, yeah. So 400 bucks, you can go to an archery store and get everything you need to go outside and start shooting. And that is exactly what I did. I spent about 600 bucks as of everything that you see right there. That's about $600. So not horrible for everything that you need to get out and go hunting. You don't have to have the best of the best. You don't have to have the best clothes, the best bow, the best gun. As long as you are out there enjoying nature and harvesting animals the proper way, that is all hunting is about. So now that I'm done talking, let's shoot the thing. All right, <clears throat> so we got the field tip in. As you can tell, Peter is behind the camera, so big shout out to Peter for filming me. But I'm gonna shoot, <clears throat> actually, I'm gonna shoot the deer right where that orange spray paint is. That's what I'm gonna aim for. Look at here. Okay. It's been a little bit since I've shot, but that's gonna be a dead deer. So I'm just gonna do two shots, and then these boys are gonna be on their way. That's a pretty good, pretty good shot for the first time that I haven't shot in, what's it been, Braden? A week? A week, a week almost? At least. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a dead deer. So I'm going to run down there and show y'all what that looks like. Good shooting, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, for the first time, I'm not shooting in about a week. You got to do this repetition over and over and over again to get your body right, to get your arms right, to figure out where you're going to hit it. But this right here is 20 yards. For a fact, that's going to be a dead deer He's come dead. Uh, whatever day we decide to go He's hunting. Dead. Let's go tonight. Let's go tonight? No, I can't tonight. All right, well. In the morning. Don't send me. Oh, I'm down to go in the morning. Now what? Fuck! <laughs> Good deer. Good deer. <laughs> ah, there we go. If somebody didn't eat it all to hell, <clears throat> we wouldn't have that problem. Leo. Pretty good grouping at 20 yards. I don't need to shoot 20 anymore. I really enjoy shooting 40. And the more I shoot, I'm gonna bump the poundage up just a little bit more. Wanna hit about 50, 55 area when I'm finally said and done with it. 20 yards is good. We're gonna bump it back to 30. Shoot two at 30, and then we will go to 40, depending on how 30 goes. 30 is not a good shot. We're gonna stay at 30, but enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Thank you, I'll see y'all in a couple hours. See you later, don't lose there. I won't try. So, as you can tell, Right here, that's the 30 yard mark. And I guess I'm just going to, uh, I guess I'm just gonna set y'all up right here. Zoom pretty far in, that way y'all guys can see where this thing goes. And I don't think I mentioned, I am shooting for the broadheads. I am shooting hypodermics. I don't know what brand they are because like I said, I'm just getting into it. Braden was like, this is the, this is what you should buy. And I was like, all right, well, that's what I'll buy. So we're at 30 yards right now. I'm gonna smoke that deer just like I did previously. Oh yeah, baby. I'm I'm too good at this. This is so much fun. I actually really enjoy shooting this thing. I need to buy me a box so I can get it back at the house so I can shoot at my house because I really enjoy this. This is a new passion I have of mine. Oh yeah. That's at 30 yards. I don't know if y'all guys can see that down. Oh, you sure can. So at 30 yards, I'm pretty solid. It's not the best shooting, but that'll definitely kill a deer. Look at it. This right here is where I wanted to aim. That's the heart. This is the lung, obviously. Um, shot him in the heart, little forward, but hey, little forward is not bad. I think that's pretty dang good for not shooting in a week and then coming out here and blasting it. So that's 30. I guess we got to step it back up to 40 now and see what happens. So give me one second. I'm gonna get these arrows out. I'm gonna go over there, set it up to 40, and we're gonna launch some arrows. So I will be standing right there at that orange line and I will be shooting 40 yards to the target, but I'm actually gonna leave the camera at 30. That way y'all guys can see. Or maybe I'll even, maybe I'll even bump y'all up up here. That way y'all guys can have a pretty good shot. This is where y'all will be, and I'm gonna aim same place I've been aiming right there on the orange, and I'm gonna be shooting pretty much back there at the door. It's about 40 yards. So y'all guys just chill right there, and y'all gonna see some arrows here in a second. We're just going to, uh, we're just going out like that didn't happen, but uh, I don't think that'd be a dead deer. But it might be. Might have pulled that one a little bit. I'm not too sure, but we're going to try it again. We're going to be aiming right there where that orange is, because that's where the heart is. All right. Round two. There we go. That's what we're talking about. 
That's much better. I don't know what happened to that first one or what happened to that second one, but uh, that just ain't gonna cut it. But that second one right here, man, that's still a little low. All right, well, we're just gonna keep on shooting 40 till I can get a good group of them. That's all bow hunting's about, making yourself better one step at a time. Hell, that's really all life's about. You just gotta better yourself each day. I tell myself every day, man, I just gotta be better than yesterday. So, as long as you're better than yesterday, can't give yourself crap. Keep that in mind. So I'm gonna continue to stay out here, but I think I'm gonna move back here. That way y'all guys can just see how far I'm actually going. All right, <clears throat> this is round three at 40 yards. So the 40 yard is actually right here on the other side of the concrete, but I'm just gonna step over here in the shade so I can see. Y'all guys watch that deer down there cause I'm about to smoke his ass. Sheesh. I don't know where that went, but uh, that wasn't good, I can tell you that. Not good shots, but uh, that's not what you want to see when you're shooting 40 yards, but I seriously doubt I'll ever be shooting 40 yards at a deer. Probably the max that I'm going to be hunting is about 30, so I don't really have to worry about 40 yards, but I still need to get better at 40 yards, so uh, I'm going to jump down there and grab those arrows, and I'm going to hit 40 again and try and get a doubt in, because right now, that's just unacceptable, so give me one second. All right, well, uh... I got both my arrows. One was in the leg of the deer and the other one was uh, behind the deer in the grass. So we're gonna sling this thing at about 40 again, see if I can get me a better shot because right now that's just not gonna do it for me. Let me go ahead and zoom y'all in. I know this is hard on one person, but y'all just gotta, gotta have faith in me. All right, so this is 40 yards. Let's see if I can make this happen. Nope, hit the grass. See if I can do it again. I don't know what it is. It's shooting shooting left, but we have everything sighted in, so I don't know what it's doing or what I'm doing wrong or what. So you can tell what I'm doing wrong, leave it in the comments. Well, that one hit. That one hit, it was just a little low. So that's good. That's uh that's what you want. And it being low. I hit the second arrow hit the deer. It looks like it hit him a little low, kind of in the heart area, maybe. I don't know. I'll let you know when I get up there to it. But the second one definitely missed the deer completely and uh hit the grass. So now I have to go find the arrow again. Yeah, that would uh well if the deer hunch down, I might be able to get a little bit of a little bit of area on him, but as of right there, that's 40 yards. That's that's not good. So now I gotta figure out where this arrow went, literally the same arrow I just shot that I lost. Marco. You know, it's funny, when I was shooting last time, I was shooting 40 yards and I was hitting the deer, but I don't know, I guess y'all guys got me scared or something, because now I can't even hit the damn thing. A few moments later. I don't know where that arrow went. I really hope I didn't lose it. Da -do, da -do, da -do, da -do. I think I lost my first arrow, literally on camera. Isn't that incredible? Where did it go? It couldn't have gone far. I mean, hell, I'm only shooting 46 pounds. I have no idea where that arrow went. Probably under the grass somewhere. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That's my first arrow I've lost, and of course I do it on camera. Is it in these trees? No. I seriously done lost that damn arrow. Well, I got two arrows to shoot now instead of three. I got three with, well now two with broadheads on it and three practice ones. I'm literally walking everywhere, pacing back and forth grid searching for this arrow and I can't find it. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna shoot one arrow now and hope that I don't lose that one either. Cause if I lose that one, then it's gonna be a real, real short video. But uh, I guess I'm gonna have to come back out here later on and see if I can find it after we get home or whatever. But I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pull this arrow out of the deer that I shot low. I'm gonna aim for this box now cause I'm tired of missing shots. So, uh. I cannot believe that. Cannot believe that. Literally my first arrow that I lost. Of course I do it on camera. Leave it to me. And I've been shooting this bow for almost two weeks now. Every day consistently. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40. Now all of a sudden I lost the one arrow. So Gotta love it. That's the perks of bow hunting, I guess. Or shooting a bow or whatever it is. So I'm gonna aim for that box down there. Hopefully I get a better shot at it with my one arrow that I have left. All right, so y'all see that box right there? Yeah, that's, that's what we'll be aiming for. Hopefully it hits the box and, I don't know, doesn't go in the grass or something, because that would be just awful if I lost both my arrows at the same day. Well, I smacked that box, that's for sure. If only I had two arrows now. Hang on, I might have one in my house. All right, well, lucky for me, I found my third arrow, which is now actually, I guess, my second arrow. Leah, come here. 
before you get shot. So now I'm going to uh, send this arrow down there at the box and see if I land it. Uh, sounds like I barely hit the box. Far left side, super exciting. Let's go see. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm just starting out. I haven't done this very often in my entire life. I'm very, very green at this, I guess you could say. So I'm still learning. I definitely did not hit the box. Oh, I did hit the box. I hit the very smallest little bit of the box that you could hit. Nice, Garrett, nice. And I hit that at 40. Like I said, I'll probably never be hunting at 40 yards, but it's just in case I do, I have the reference of if I need to, I can and I'll feel solid about it. But as of right now, I don't feel very solid about it because can't hit the deer at 40 yards. I really need to find that third arrow, but there's no telling. Find my arrow, Leah. Find my arrow. Yeah, that thing's gone. Brayden's gonna find it when he cuts grass. So that should be super duper exciting. But I'm gonna come back out here later on when I'm not filming and actually come look for it because right now I'm kind of just scanning and I need to take my shoes off and go through it and look and see if I can find it. But 20 is good, 30 is good. 40, 40 has its moments to where it wants to be good or not. So I think I'm gonna be done with 40. I think I might drop it back down to 30. Shoot 30 a couple more times just because it's fun and I enjoy doing this. And I finally found something that I like. So if y'all guys enjoy it, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I know this is kind of a weird video, a little slow, yada, 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 but it's something that I enjoy. I'm sure it's something that y'all enjoy as well too. I'm, I'm sure I have a lot of subscribers that like bow hunting as well. So if y'all bow hunt, leave it down in the comments. Tell me what kind of bow you shoot, how far you shoot, yada, yada, yada. What's the biggest deer you've killed with your bow? I wanna know all of it because I wanna start getting into it because this is fun to me. I do wanna go ahead and get me another release because this travel is so long, I don't necessarily like it like you gotta pull and pull and pull and pull and then it releases. I want one where I can just touch and it releases. So other than that, I should be solid, so. So we are at 30 yards again. I'm gonna go ahead and set y'all up for that. Actually, maybe I'll maybe I'll film me shooting. That way y'all guys can watch what I'm doing, critique me, tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, which I sure I am. Y'all guys just be, re, be respectful in the comments. Like I said, this is my first time actually taking it serious with the bow, so be gentle. This bow, I actually quite enjoy it. I don't really know what to expect from different bows because like I said, this is my first legit bow. So it's not bad. I mean, the arrow goes and I pull it back and it does everything it's supposed to. I mean, that's all that matters, right? I mean, I'm sure it'll kill a deer. So now we're at 30. Yikes, still going to the left for some reason. I don't know what's going on, unless I moved it when it was in the truck. Huh. Maybe I'm just off my game today, or maybe that's just what happens when you don't shoot for a week. You just completely get out of whack. Right now, I'm kind of feeling out of whack. I used to be good at this a week ago, but now, I mean, hell, what, what is that? What is that, Bobby? What is that? That's at 30 yards. I should be smacking it right here. But, oh well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's do it again. All right, got my arrows back. Probably gonna shoot 30 a couple more times just to get the feel of it again and then uh, probably wrap up this video. Dang it, Bobby, what is happening? Shot that one in the neck. There you go, that's a better shot. I don't know what's going on with me. Lemur. Lemur. What are you doing, Lemur? What are you doing? I don't know, I just want to play with sticks. All right, well, uh, this is first arrow, and that's second arrow. Second arrow is still a little low, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm pulling it, if it's not level, if uh, the sight somehow got knocked or something, I'm genuinely not sure, so. I'm gonna try it again. This is probably my last time that I'm gonna wrap up this video. I know it was short and sweet and to the point, but I'm 
speaking of short and sweet, the parts to the green truck are finally coming in. My hood, they said it wasn't gonna be here until December. It got delivered a week ago. So that's cool. Uh, the headlight housings are on the way. The LEDs from Adrenaline Off-Road are on the way. And the only thing I have to buy now is a paint job and a grill. And that should be it. So if you guys know any paint shops around the Charlotte area that do a good job, please, 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 please leave it down in the comments because I'm looking for a paint shop. I don't want to spend an ass load of money on that truck for a decent paint job, but I feel like it's going to be coming anyways. So if you know any paint shops around the Charlotte area, just... Leave it down in the comments for me because I need a spot. So if y'all know somebody or a family member that paints or whatever, so whatever it may be, just leave it down in the comments. I'm gonna shoot this 30 one last time and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, so. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I mean, hell, it's definitely weird seeing me with a bow in my hand. Never thought I'd be doing this again, but we were in Illinois and Brain was like, you should buy a bow. And I was like, what do we need a bow for? He's like, I don't know, we can go shoot competitions together and we can go shoot deer together. And I was like, well, hell, find me a bow. And he found me this one, and I was like, sure. So, he got me a bow now. Now I just gotta get good at it. Because apparently right now, I'm not very good at it. So, uh... Here we go. It might have been a dead deer. Not too sure. That's not gonna be a dead deer at all. Maybe it's the sunglasses. I'm not making excuses, but I've also never shot with sunglasses on. It is just incredibly stupid bright out here. And ever since I've had LASIK eye surgery, everything has been so much more brighter. Like headlights are brighter, the sunshine is brighter, lights inside the house are just so much brighter. My eyes have gotten very sensitive to light since I got LASIK when I was in the military. But uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna kill a deer. I mean, hell it might, but uh, Probably not. So I obviously have a little bit of work to do. Like I said, if you know what I'm doing wrong, leave it down in the comments because believe it or not, I read all of my comments, whether they're good or some of you want to be assholes or being assholes. But other than that, it don't matter. It is what it is. But thank you for watching today's video. I know I haven't posted in quite a while, but it's because we've been hunting. The next few videos are probably going to be hunting videos, and then I'll eventually bring it back to the green truck. But as of right now, man, I'm enjoying hunting. We're going out there almost every day, scouting deer, finding new deer to shoot, yada, yada, yada. It's a blast. Got to get better with this thing so I can go out and smoke a doe at 20 or 30 yards. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of off the wall and just very random and you weren't expecting it, but I appreciate all the love and support that y'all have given me throughout all the years of me doing this even when I was in the military. I can't ask for a better support group than what I have now between y'all. So thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna continue to get better at this because I want to get better at this. Something I really enjoy doing. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to drop it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless you. God bless this country. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Have a good one.